Crusader Kings 2. Little Fingers Revenge. It is I, the Golden Joe Oblivion. We're back with our man, Lord Paramount Peter. Lord Paramount Little Peter Finger of the Trident. And last time, last time, what do we do? Last time we got full control over the Trident, technically, although it is still kind of broken up because you've got individual people who are, my God, the crossing has a lot of territory. Jesus. Oh, yeah, Walder Frey has seen a huge, huge, huge increase in, uh, ugh. He's seen a huge increase in, well, his, his, his territory, pretty much. He's taken over a lot of it because of, uh, well, betraying Rob Stark and all that. Jesus. He'll, he almost owns more land than the fucking, uh, little Baelisher does. And then there's also River Run, which also belongs to the Freys. Shit. They own everything in the Trident now. But they all bend the knee to the overlord, Peter Littlefinger. And so we got control of the Trident. Fought a little bit. Ended up not having to actually... Ended up being for nothing. Because we got the Trident anyways. And we married Sansa, Sansa Stark. So she will be our wife when she comes of age. Which is soon. Very soon. And we have the Veil. Which is defending against King Aegon. Ooh. Right. So King Aegon is landing. And he has the support of Dorne. He has 7,000 men. He has a really ridiculous looking crown. His heir is Ser Varys. Which is kind of... Kind of odd. Very odd looking crown. And he has support of Dorne. Prince Doran, the wise of Dorne, who has 17,000 men. He's killed by Rhaegal. Oh, gotcha. Elia Martell. Ariane Martell. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so they, they go into they go into the details with like the baby raising now. Cool. I like it. Right, so what are we going to do? Uh, Tommen hates us. Tommen hates us because we uh, we're a traitor. He thinks we're a traitor, which, in all honesty, it should be Cersei Lannister who thinks we're a traitor, but King Tommen does. But I'm not too worried about King Tommen because he's a child. Um, who I don't know. Maybe we could plot to kill 66 percent. Uh, uh, he does have 16,000 men, and he is uh, he does. I'm pretty sure he's going to be aided. Who's aiding him in this war so far? Lord Paramount, Robert of the Vale. So, our fucking Robert. God fucking Robert. Form an alliance. No. Because he doesn't really like us in political concerns. Plot to investigate legitimacy. Plot to kill. Hmm. My ward. He is my ward. Should be easy to plot to kill him then, because uh, he is my ward after all. Sir Harold takes over, we lose control of the Vale. But that's the thing, though, is like, he's off here doing his own shit. I should be his regent, not fucking Lord Horton. Believe me, buddy, not Lord Horton. I don't think I can actually become the regent, though. This is kind of shit. Uh, do we want to help the crown? Well, here's the thing, is that we can... Thurible's cause is just... Declares war on the Iron Throne. I mean, we could. We could break, three, break free now, but we have... We have no one. We have 4,000 men, that's it. His armies alone would crush us. And we have no allies, so I think now would be a bad time to break free. The rebels' cause is just out of the field. It would be bad to join King Aegon. I will not concern myself for now to defend my... I will not concern... We will dither. We're, we're not going to concern ourselves with that shit for now. Somebody suggested marching an army down to King down to King's Landing and seducing Marjorie, Queen Marjorie. And the thinking is, is that you know, if you get her pregnant and she could pass it off as King Tommen's child, then technically Baelish will have a child on the Iron Throne, assuming King Tommen keeps it. Um, so that, that's an option. Even though I'm pretty sure you can't seduce someone when you're in command. I'm pretty sure you can't. I mean, we can test it real quick. I see. I don't see why not. Somebody also suggested that Queen Cersei, not Queen Cersei, Lady Paramount Cersei's control over the Westerlands is not as, uh, not as solid as it seems. That eventually the people will turn on her. And I would hasten that day. I would find someone who can do just that. But you know what? We need the best of the best. We're playing as uh, Peter Baelish here, and we need the best. Who do we have? We can get Humphrey, who's got 17. That'll work. Invite to court. Uh, let's see. Wallace, you've got 17, Marshall. We will also take you, sir. We have got Emon, who's got 18 stewardship. We'll take you. Reginald, who has 20 intrigue. We'll invite you. And then Jeremy, a claw man with 22, 22 learning. Excellent. 
We got Wars Crowford, who is supposed to be training our men. Training our men here. All right. So what we'll probably do is we still need to consolidate our armies. That's still a priority. Um, which might not be possible until King, King Stannis is dealt with. And dealing with King Stannis is also paramount to taking control of the North. Because if King Stannis takes control of the North, how are we, you know, we'll have to fight him to take the North for, 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 our, for our wife Sansa. Because if we can take the North for her, then we'll have the Riverlands and the North. And then we need to have somehow get an alliance with the Vale, and those three powers together, we will be unstoppable. But Robin might be a little bit trouble. He might be a bit of trouble. Um, how is the war with Stannis going? Who is that, Lord Master Winton? You. Apparently the war with Stannis has, has, has ended. I think Stannis is gone. So what happened to the Starks? Are they all dead now? No. He, 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 oh, he's uh, he's stressed. I think um, Lord Commander Jon Snow is actually chilling out at the wall. I don't think he left. He, I, don't, I don't think he marched with Stannis. Lady Arya of the North. Sure. Sure, Lady Arya. Right. So we don't have to worry about Stannis. What is Carhold doing? Imprisoned by King Tommen of the Iron Throne. They're, they're doing something. So the North is kind of broken up a little bit. Howland Reed is still alive, isn't he? Yes. Could we attack him? Let's see. We cannot declare war if we have raised any army levies. Must have a valid Cass's belly. We have no raised levies. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Actually, we do. Oh, that's because we can... Oh, well, we sort of do control Midler Point, or we did. Strange. Strange. All right. So, yeah, we did actually have some raised levies. All right. So, so we're still... Let make the Crown Herod Hall the Crown Focus. Yes, so Stannis is gone. So that should mean that these assholes should be coming around. Well, now they're, now they're all fighting for King Tommen. These sons of bitches. I believe Lord Walder of the Crossing is supporting the crown as well. These bootlickers. They don't know. I'm not sure. Like, if we, if we attack the Iron Throne and we've got th these many people who are supporting the Iron Throne, that's, that's, uh, that's, um... I know that there must be a way to earn Queen Marjorie's trust, and the best way to learn it is without a doubt talking to her. But about what? I will simply ask her. Maybe some other time. Write a personal letter to Queen Marjorie explaining your desire to know more about her and become a good acquaintance and hoping it will sway her to your cause. <laughs> is, is this too greedy of Baelish? It's like, dude, you already got you already got Sansa, and now you're gonna try to get Marjorie too? Like, God, man. I may, maybe maybe something will work out. We'll lose seventy five prestige. All right, for sending messages to the Queen. I don't know. Cersei had a lot of control when she was the Queen. Queen Marjorie was more than happy to talk to me about her struggles and aspirations. In fact, she seems to have questions for me as well. This is wonderful. <laughs> Touched. <laughs> Touched. <laughs> yeah. That, uh... <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Sir Richard Morgan. Ah, yes, of House Morgan Stormlanders. I've expressed a desire to get married. I'll find him somebody nice. You are wounded, sir. Your your father died in battle, and your brother, Guyard the Green, the Magnificent, the Legend, died in battle as well. House Morgan is known for being, I don't know, Mar Marshall? I don't fucking know. I actually just forgot. Wait, where is that guy? There he is. He wants to marry. We will marry you to somebody. We will arrange a betrothal. We, apparently we can't. Arrange a marriage between you and Paya, who is uh, kind of stupid, but attractive. What is wrong with her face? Oh, she's grievously scarred. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, um, well, she was attractive. <laughs> she was attractive. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Defending against Lord Tristan in war against the tyranny of... Oh, shit. We, we gotta help him. We gotta help him. Overthrow the ruler. We will help you. How many armies do you have? 10,000? Oh, God. There's been a revolt in the Vale. There's been a revolt in the Vale, and we need to... Apparently, he's already got killed. Kills. Merillion died in the dungeons of Lord Paramount. Interesting. Uh, we'll, yes. Uh, we should march. We should march to aid him, and maybe helping him 
All help is appreciated. Yes, we will march to your aid, brother, uh, uh, son. I mean, uh, nephew. And uh, we will help you. And that should allow us to to uh, to to get uh, an alliance. My courtier Sir Cedric Whitehead has expressed a desire to get married. Fuck, I really wish I knew how to turn that off. Let's find somebody really young that's not sickly. How about you? You'll work. All right. So are we marching off to aid in, um, we send, we're sending ravens? Yes, to the affable smarty Peter. May you live in harmony and contentment. I gladly accept your offer of assistance in my war. Let our enemies tremble. Well, I mean, you've already got 10,000. Oh, he's got a lot of enemies, though. All right. Let's get whatever men we can muster. <laughs> our little 5,000 men army. We got to do something, right? We got to do something. To the clever rye, I've decided to accept your suggestion. Peter Baelish will not lead armies himself because he's not hes not really that guy. He doesn't really do that. In the default game, is it a thing where you can't seduce your 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 wife again? I forget. I don't know. In, in the older versions that we were playing in, I went into the game and I edited a bunch of stuff and I made it so that I, you, you, you could seduce your wife. I, I haven't made it so that, well... I made it so you could seduce your wife as well as others, but I don't see the option here, and it could be because she's only 15. That is also something I changed. I changed it so that once they're 15, you can seduce them because I figured, well, you know, they already look like an adult, so whatever. Whatever. I guess we'll have to wait another year or some shit. But we need we need uh, Robert to uh, maintain control. I think we can attach armies and shit in this version. I just have no clue how to do that. Okay. Minus two. All right. Marshal the men. Marshal all the men. I want 18s only. Rupert, Cedric, Lucas. How about we get you over here? And head to the bloody gate. Rather dark more. Sir Harold is clearly a slave to his own passion. It is only a matter of time before the gods... Rots his lustful limbs away. I should warn the people around him before he drags somebody else into perdition. It's a very odd thing for Baelish to be saying. Because his piety isn't all that great. Sir Harold. But I hate Sir Harold, though. He's an enemy. This is most disgraceful, sir. Antagonize him. Oh, okay, so this is an option to antagonize him. This is beneath me. Sir Harold clearly his own passion. He is a most disgraceful sir. I will mock him. Just as expected, Sir, Her sir Harold is furious. The rumors I spread about him have really gone under his skin. After all, how could he deny any any of them in good faith? Yeah, fuck you, man. Ah, I'll make your life painful. Yeah, I will punish you. <laughs> all right. No point in hiding my intentions any longer. Sir Harold has openly declared he is my sworn enemy. <laughs> he arrivals from this day forward. He could challenge us to a duel. He very well could. He could challenge us to a duel. Um, I'd like to see this guy dead. He arrivals from this day forward. Yes. We are rivals. And apparently, I'm not antagonizing him anymore. I have, I have successfully made him my rival. Let's see, is a friend, is a lover, oh, okay. Sway is not a rival, right. We cannot antagonize him any further. We are now rivals, interesting. Okay, well, I mean, if we need, if we need, if we need to make someone hate us, we now know how to do it. So that's useful. Um, hold on, let's, let's attack them where they're not strong. In fact, do we have ships? We have no fucking ships. No, we don't. All right, let's go to Crow's Barrens, and we'll take the. We'll we'll go north, and we'll take the bite. Uh, Maesters are most useful. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. What is going on? Minus ten. Why do you have minus ten? The attacker controls all their holdings. Well, I'm about to fix that shit. I'm gonna go north. I'm gonna take the Crow's Barrens, and we're just gonna hold it. And we're gonna let the main armies of the Vale crush this rebellion. We, we will not allow this to ha So, did we get the disposition boost right now? Oh, it seems we did. Join my war. Excellent. Guardian is Sonora. Okay. Uh, I have noticed my master arms. Moore's Umber is a hard worker. 
Uh, what do we want him to do with our men? Send him to recruit more men, heighten the morale of the men at arms. Recru increase their morale. Uh, go to the barons. Um, I wonder if I can't get... I wonder if I can't get just a small contingent of soldiers somewhere. Anywhere, really. I don't really want to split the main force up. Because what I want to do is I want to try seducing the queen down here. Because I'm a freak like that. Uh, Pete smiles upon me. My wife Sansa is pregnant. Wow, they, they got to that really, really soon. Okay, cool. That, that's nice. Eight minus eighty six percent. Oh my God! Why? Why? The Battle of Ro Ro Rosesk. Rosesk. What the fuck? Did you just get your asses kicked? Army of Lord Nestor. No. No. You've got. You've been defeated. Let's assault this little. Pl Whoa. My lord, I'm pleased to report I've captured some high-valuable prisoners from our successful siege of Stone Kime. I hereby turn them over to your judgment. Uh, clap Lady Alice and Irons and leave the rest. We could take them all. Take them all into house arrest. Increasing their opinion of you by ten. Curious. What could we use with that? Tacker controls all their holdings. Uh, How? Oh, the sisters! No, the sister. We 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 have to go to the to the islands and take that shit. But even if we did, they would only, they we would we would undo thirty percent. That's pretty. That's pretty big. So what we need to do is we need to buy some ships. Let's go buy some ships. We don't need many. Ooh, the warrior sons. All right, thirty gold will buy me a little sell sail fleet. Actually, we'll need more than that. Um. How many? What? What are their garrisons like here? Pretty, pretty substantial. Okay. Well, thankfully these these fleets are cheap, so we'll hire. Let's see. That'll ferry three thousand. That will ferry four thousand five hundred. So I mean, we gotta be we gotta be frugal about this. My ward Sansa is inquisitive and asks so many questions it is hard to answer them all. I try my best for and for every answer I give, Sansa seems to like me even more. I think we've become friends. Ah, that's just precious, pre precious. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say, precious. Oh, Robert, 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 Robert. Now see this thing that's happening to Robert. I am dreadfully afraid of this shit happening to to my my uh my Robert. Robert Aaron playthrough. I'm desperately trying to prevent a civil war because, as you can see, it can go sideways very fast. All right, so who has the smallest amount of men? Five, six, maybe you. Maybe you, but we'll check the others too. Whoa, 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 hold on. You have 400. You have 400. Go here instead. Land here at Sunderland. Uh. Whoa. At first, at first the signs were small, easily dismissed as coincidences, but now they're becoming too frequent to be ignored. My wife will give birth under auspicious stars. Curious, what does that mean? Pregnancy, good omen, health, plus 15. The pregnancy of this woman is happening under auspicious signs and is likely to end positively for both mother and child. So... Something uh, something I noticed that when I upgraded to 1.9 is there are um, there are events where you can have children you can have children born that have how would I how would I how do I even explain it they they have just they have natural good tendencies they 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 just come out naturally good from the get go. And that's always kind of been present in Crusader Kings 2, at least for the Game of Thrones mod. I'm, you know, you notice this, it's just the certain characters are just way, way better than other characters. And for, and if you have a dynasty that lasts a very long time, you're going to notice that you've got some characters that were just natural born leaders or commanders or super smart and shit like that. And then you'd get, and then, and then like the vast majority of the other rulers you have, they're pretty, they're like meh, or they just suck. Um, I think they've added this as a little feature into the game to where you now can have this this little option. I think it's more recognized. Does Sansa really has negative prestige? Hmm. Interesting. 
So let's see, pregnancy, praying, monthly piety, temple vassal opinion plus 10. This woman is fervently praying for a safe labor and for the good health of the child she is carrying. That must suck being pregnant in Heron Hall. <laughs> Heron Hall is a fucking ruin. It's just a shit hole. It's a pile of rubble, as Tywin Lannister says. But good omen. I think this means that the offspring of uh, Paramount Peter Littlefinger and Paramount Sansa are going to be... It's going to be a good child. It's going to be good. Fucking Harold. I, 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 think, I think it is Lord Tristan of the Sisters war against the tyranny of Lord Paramount Robert. Yeah, but he's not a tyrant, so you assholes are lying. They're liars. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this shit as soon as we fucking can, and we shouldn't be able to negate like 30 points or something. Maybe even 40 now. Let's get our morale up to 100. We want to make sure we do this before the war score hits 100. The wars between the great powers of the realm have subsided for now. Our own wars continue. So does that mean that uh, the trident returns to me? Let's see. They're still defending against Iron King, Euron Crozai, and Ironborn Invasion of Seaguard. That's fucking great. Well, I, you know what? That's kind of good because that is kind of a part of our territory. So the Iron Throne is kind of doing us a solid there. L uh, Lord Ralph of Windwater's War for Independence. Not going well for him. Oh my god. <laughs> Iron King Euron has taken over the Reach. I, now, I'm going to be honest. I never really understood the point of taking over land as uh, as the Ironborn. Because your real strength comes from the fact that you're on the Iron Isles. People have to sail out to come get you. And when they land on your islands, you have all of the advantage. Um, I like that. They have the little uh, Greyjoy tunics and stuff. But it, it uh, d does... Do all the families have that? Like, do they wear Lannisters? It's just red. It's red. Hold on a second. I'm going to check this shit out. Mm. It's gray or something. What about the Starks? Oh, there aren't any Starks left. No, no, there is Sansa. So we still have the right to march north. We still have the right to march north and take the north for her. So that's always good, which we will need. We will, might need a new claim on the Vale, though. Robin is in deep shit. But uh, as I was saying, I never really understood why the Greyjoy would take land because their greatest strength comes from sailing out of the Iron Isles, raiding, taking money, bringing it back, and then, you know, kind of like um, building tall as opposed to wide. And that makes them extremely powerful and allows them to have the monopoly on the seas. Well, until all of Westeros develops ships. So if you're playing if you're playing in the bleeding years, the few years before the Aegon, Aegon's invasion from Dragonstone, the majority of Westeros doesn't have ships. So when they declare war on you, they essentially can't do anything, and then eventually, over time, you're going to win just because you control all your holdings and they can't touch you. Later on, like uh, during the Clash of Kings, this becomes a problem because with the Iron Throne all together, you know, using the resources of the Reach, the Westerlands, the Crownlands, Stormlands, Dorne, Vale, etc., they will have enough ships, and they will just dog pile, pile you into submission, which is kind of what happened with the Greyjoy Rebellion. But, uh, yeah, when you take land inwards, that kind of makes it easier for people to hurt you. So now, if, if, if the Iron Throne wants to retake the Reach, the Ironborn are going to have to sail down to the... They're going to have to sail to the Greenlands and defend the fucking Reach, whereas the Iron Throne is already here. So, I don't know. I never really understand. I like the idea that the Ironborn can just invade for funsies, but uh, when you take shit like the Westerlands or the North, it's like, okay... I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to use the people from the Westerlands to continue raiding. Uh, okay. I, I don't really see that being very useful. But that's just me. That's just how I play my Ironborn. All right, let's go ahead and take this. Uh, good work, my lord. Uh, take them all into house arrest. It'll make them all like us a little bit more. And as we can see... Oh, shit. Yes. Yes. And just like that, the tides have turned. The tides have turned. Because we hold a lot of his family in our dungeons. We hold the majority of his sons in our dungeons. Well, I'm about to put them in my dungeons because uh, it's his second son, right? Yeah, move to dungeon cell. Move them all to dungeon cells. I now realized how important they are. Move them all to the dungeons. I can't believe... <laughs> this, this dude, Lord Tristan of the Sisters, we have taken your family captive. We could force marry a bunch of them. 
Elise will move to the dungeons as well. I could be a freak and visit her chambers, but I will not do that because Peter Baelish, Lord Peterfinger, he he has higher standards than that. So does the war score go up because we control his wife? No, it's just his children. We've we have taken over Sunderland and we have taken all almost all of his children. The exception being this fool, Horton Sunderland, who is leading troops in Pebble. I believe. Uh, why? Let's not antagonize him. Where is this? Ah, he is here. Yeah, we probably won't attack it because it's it's going to be too hard to. We'd have to cross. Uh, a, a strait or something. So we've captured his family. Bah! And we have turned the tides of, the, of this war. I mean, just think of that. You've got Robert here, who started off with a huge army advantage and with an impregnable fortress. And uh, he's technically losing the war until his uncle sneakily somehow captures the enemy's almost entire family. <laughs> Good old Peter Baelish, I'm telling you. Good old Peter. You know what? Fuck this. We don't need to do this shit. We could take... Oh, we could, though. You know what? They're not going to come back to the sisters. Let's just quick assault this. Take it. Very nice. My prisoner, Alice, is complaining about her dark cells. Uh, no, you can all stay will you, where you are. Great. Let's get you guys back on the ships. I'm actually going to put Baelish in an army here for a second, but that's only because... Ooh, it occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some humoral unbalance that is affecting her mood. This is oddly detailed. This is an odd amount of detail. I will buy her something nice. Sans Sansa will be comforted by your kind gesture. Giving plus seven five. I'll go spend time with her. Your wife will certainly be glad to have you visit her. I'm sure she will be fine. <laughs> She'll be fine. 2111. I mean, they, let's see. They spend time comforted until the 21st, 11th moon. The 10th moon. So I lose five gold and I get the bonus for a month longer. Ah, sure. I guess. Why not? Uh, for, for some time, I'm in the employ of Lord Lancel. Uh, we don't have any money to pay you, buddy. I know you're a formidable fighter, but... I'm, t I'm telling you it's going to say you cannot seduce because you're in command. That's what's going to happen. But uh, might as well try, right? Uh, news, Lord Harmon, Uller, I don't care. Let's see. They don't control... Yes, we, we hold your family prisoner. And we can begin executing them if we want. If we felt inclined to. If I felt inclined to. Seeks to replace Corwin as spymaster. Do not give a fuck. How about my own... Oh, god damn it. My own council has been standing empty, and I haven't been prompted about it. Let's see. Spy Master, you're building a spy network in River Run. Vicious rumor spread. Okay. Uh, my justiciar. Let's see. It's improved diplomatic relations with the Vale. We must continue to we must continue to turn them to our side. Ooh, Emon, Master Jamie of Harrentown. Spy Master of the Trident. What about you? You're Sir Amon, right? Cupbearer of the Trident, designated regent. Designated regent? Uh, yeah. No. No, you're not. You are not the designated regent. The designated regent will be my... Well, it was going to be Sansa, but it doesn't seem she's of age yet. Moros, Maester of the Trident. All right, we'll pick you. And then my cupbearer will be... Someone else. Where is my cupbearer? Sir Amon Sloan. Will not be you, because I do not trust you, sir. Richard Castellan of the Trident. And then when Sansa comes of age, she will become my regent. Fantastic. Now get these men to King's Landing. Apparently we're taking, uh, we're out of supplies. Split the unit in half. Take this 300 or so. I take myself here, and I'm going to leave my wife temporarily... I said I was going to leave my wife temporarily so I can lead command. There we go. We have had command happen to us. Excellent. Ooh, a message about form alliance has been received. Robert Aaron has come around, and he has decided that... You see, 
aiding him in this war has led to an, a very valuable alliance. Of course, I will accept this alliance. Surely we are allies now, yes? Excellent, we are formally allied. Very nice. Oh, shit. How the fuck did they... Ugh. Damn. Uh, perhaps it is time I asked Queen Marjorie <laughs> to spend some time with me. It is probably the fastest way for me to gain her trust. I will ask her. Invite Queen Marjorie to come to your palace to spend some time you time with you, hoping it will sway her to your cause. Uh, but I'm I'm here. I'm I'm here. <laughs> I'm here at King's Landing. Seduce Marjorie. One of the, one of these must be true. Marjorie's lo is Marjorie is located in King's Landing, and King's Landing is owned by Peter or Marjorie. Peter or Peter is not in command. Where is Marjorie located? At court and the Red Keep. Let's see. Leading troops in King's Landing. Red Keep, King's Landing. We're in the same location, but we are unfortunately, we are unfortunately is owned, and King's Landing is owned by Peter or Marjorie, or Peter is not in command. Uh, one of these must be true. Is Vassal or below under? Yeah, so you also can't seduce upwards. Unfortunate. Unfortunate! It saddens me. Marjorie was happy to oblige me. Now that I have some time to spend with her, I am confident that I convince her of how alike we are and that she stands only to gain from our friendship. We can finally talk in private. Spend a few days with Queen Marjorie trying to convince her request of your good intentions. This sounds this sounds like a seduction attempt. This really does. We'll see how it pans out. My young wife has finished her education in the ways of the court of state of at the ways of the court and statesmanship. It seems that she's learned all the basic skills required. Very good. She is a gruff diplomat. Whoa, what is this? Final months. This woman has entered the last phase of her pregnancy. Her condition is preventing her from taking part of public life at last, at least until the time of her labor comes to term. I think these days have really helped <laughs> has really helped me getting Marjorie to know and appreciate me better. I swear to God, this is this sounds just like seduction. Maybe it is because we have the seduction trait as well. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much into it. We have passed most of our time in my palace discussing the most disparate topics. My palace was enriched by your visit. Hopefully you enjoyed being far from preachers for once. Softened. I wonder if she knows my true intentions. Deceitful. I hope you like your time here. Swayed. Well... My palace was enriched by your visit. Okay, I, I get it. I mean, it gives us the biggest d d dis diplomacy boost. Um, Marjorie is so struck by my generosity and kindness as a host that sh that just before departing, she told me that she now feels indebted with me. Now we have we now we have a favor from the queen. I have no fucking clue how we're gonna make use of that, but we have it. We have it. I, um, does that mean we're done We're done swaying her? No, we're still swaying her. Excellent. Oh, yeah, it says over here. Excellent. So I've gone well over my time. This has been a really awesome episode. So we have solidified a formal alliance with the Vale by coming, rushing to the aid of, of Robert Aaron as he, as his treacherous vassals have attempted to, 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 uh, unseat such a righteous ruler and, uh, the few the few men that we can muster the few men that we could muster we have sent to uh the the the, the hold the, the hold fast of the leader of the traitors and we have taken his family into custody for the crown and uh we have also we've uh, we've uh, we've pissed off Harold to the point where now where he views us as enemies for life which is always good and we have swayed Marjorie Terrell to the point where we now have a favor from her. Our wife is pregnant, and she is Sansa's pregnant, and it looks like she might be giving birth to a very potential, like, prophetic child. I like, to, I like to think of it like a prophetic child, like a child that's going to be blessed by the gods. Yes, everything, everything is coming to plan. Everything. But the rest of our plans, we'll have to move we will have to act upon in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this has been Crusader Kings 2, Littlefinger's Revenge. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion, and until next time, I will see you all.